Good day, Commanders. This is Commander Darkseid, and today I'd like to go over the new accidentally released Pulsewave Xenoscanner. The new scanner is both a Titan Pulsewave scanner and a Xenoscanner, but unlike the advanced Xenoscanner with the 2km range, this only has a 1km range. The ship I use for poking around inside the Maelstrom is the Imperial Clipper. While it's not my favorite ship to fly, it does tick all the boxes with its speed, cold running capabilities, ample optional internal slots, and four utility mounts for the four must-have utilities when probing the Titan. I use a single medium beam laser with thermal vent for keeping cool, to help avoid detection, and to gather some of the materials you can collect from the Titan. Core internals are pretty standard with a low emissions power plant to keep the heat down, and optional internals include the 7A multi-limpid controller, lots of hull with some Guardian hull reinforcements for their extra caustic resistance, and corrosion resistant cargo rack as the materials we are collecting are caustic. I won't go through the specifics of how to get through the Maelstrom caustic cloud in this video, just be aware you'll get interdicted a lot on your way in, so a fast ship is a must and you will need those four utilities for the caustic damage, heat damage, and to get past the pulse wave. To use the Pulse Wave Xeno Scanner, you set it up on a fire group, and once in range, you pull and hold the trigger until the scan is done. You'll see points of interest that glow in green. These spots will be for collecting the three different materials that can be found in the hull, as well as areas that you can use a research limpet to gather Titan tissue samples, as well as Titan Ma tissue samples. There are three types of each, deep, partial, and just tissue sample, and they seem to be random as to which one you'll get. None of these materials are of any use right now, but I'm assuming they'll be useful later on. Once you have located an area, you can sub-target it to get a limpet docking point. Deploy your research limpet and it will extract a sample and automatically come back. Once that limpet is done, it's dead, and you'll need to deploy a new limpet for each sample. Each area can be sampled multiple times, and once it's depleted, you will no longer get the target icon. The Thargoid interceptors and glaives go on high alert once you start scanning and will hover around the maw area using their scanner to try to find you. You need to wait until they move away a bit to get your scan in and deploy your limpets. When sampling the maw points, you need to be above the area when deploying your limpet or they will likely crash and die. Once you have deployed your limpets, you can hide down at the base while keeping cool and your limpets will come back to you. And one last thing, once you're done gathering materials, you can either fight your way back through the caustic cloud, or you can log out to the main menu and log back in, which will put you just outside the cloud. Well, that's all I have for now. Now go out and poke some Thargoid Titans, and I'll see you in the black, Commanders.